Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in today's video, we will be discussing about top 10 DevOps engineer questions. Whether you are a fresher, whether you are an experienced engineer, whether you are a platform, SRE or support engineer, this video is for you. So let's get started. So these are the one of the top interview questions which I got and I will be sharing with you all. So the number first question is what are the roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer? So this is the question which is generally asked for every DevOps engineer. So let me start with like this. Hi, this is Praveen here. I have to tell of one year or two years of experience in the DevOps. I have been working on the current project for last one year. And also in this project, I was the primary person handling the CI CD automations. And whenever a development team comes to us for onboarding of the services, we used to have a checklist where uh, what are the branching strategies? What are the tools that has to be integrated? What are the versions that the teams are using? Uh, so we I have to prepare all the checklist. And along with that, I was the person who is uh, completely responsible for onboarding of entire CI CD and Till the deployment of the project, I was the particular person. So in this uh, particular chain, in the CI CD, I have worked with all the tools like Jenkins, Maven, uh, JFrog, Ansible, uh, Kubernetes, Docker. And also at the same time, I am an experienced engineer with the, uh, with writing of uh, Docker files, Kubernetes files and CI CD Jenkins file. Also, I have done few automations such as Jira use case automation, which has reduced uh, the manual effort of development teams to create the Jira tickets. Also, I have created a chatbot, which is used by all the development teams right now. Also, I have worked on various uh, REST API endpoints like GitLab, Sonar, Jenkins and uh, uh, few other REST APIs. And I have been awarded uh, three times the star performer in my team. Along with that, I have done three certifications. Now, all of this are related to my work. I'm also capable of doing extracurricular activities outside my work for which I have received a few recognitions in my organization. So this is about uh, myself in a close. And yes, definitely I forgot to tell you that I am a security engineer and a monitoring engineer where I've worked with Prometheus, Grafana and few other things. And I have developed few Python automation scripts also. Yes. So that's how you have to tell. And it, yes, you have seen that it took me almost two minutes to complete this video. But I think that is how you justify your things, right? So the second question is, see, uh, every question will be the chain from the first question only. So the next, next, next question which he is asking is, what kind of automations you have done? So very interesting question. So in this, you have to tell the elaboration of the first question answer which you have given. So if I'm in your position, I'll be telling that I have done the Python automations, uh, which were particularly uh, told by development team. So they have asked us to use their REST API endpoint and generate a email template so that at every day around 5 p.m. an email is generated uh, to their development team uh, with the details of versions getting deployed, with the details of the services getting deployed in our Kubernetes cluster. At the same time, I have done a few of the Python automations with the OOPS concept also where the, the development team requirement was uh, with the Jira automation. So they were not able to create the ticket or track the issue. So they asked us to create some kind of automation, which is helping us to survive in the uh, current situation to make sure that every Jira and effort is tracked by them. Right. And the third automation which I have done uh, is basically the development of chatbot, uh, which is a primary uh, uh, design uh, and uh, implementation done uh, was done by me. I have also taken the help of uh, tech leads in this use case. And not only this, I have worked on uh, Kubernetes uh, automations also like uh, what was the issue was our development teams were uh, uh, were spreaded across multiple sub pillars. So I have created service accounts for them in the Kubernetes cluster. I have created uh, for them the uh, namespaces. I have created uh, them the deployment patterns. Everything was automated with the help of uh, your uh, Terraform scripts and uh, automation scripts. I have also created uh, major automations on the infra side with the help of Terraform and most of the Walmart supply chain applications are getting deployed on the infra which I have created along with the team. So these are some uh, uh, important automations we have done. I've done few basic things also, but yeah, on the minor case, uh, those can be neglected, but this is the one uh, good things which I have done in the current organization. Now, the next question following that, uh, will you support on call if given an opportunity? So uh, if you have not done the on call or if you feel that uh, on call is uh, not known to you or you don't know, 
uh, tell him the truth that in the current organization uh, you didn't have the on call and uh, yes if given an opportunity i'll be able to take it now if you uh, tell this question he will be giving you a scenario let's take like around 11 pm uh, you are uh, sleeping on the bed and suddenly you get an on call uh, pager duty alert or xmatters alert will you be jumping in to resolve the issue and what are the steps you are going to take so this are the things uh, which you are going to get and that's what the fourth question is uh, tell some issues you have faced in the production and you have solved so these are some things which are very important for the production uh, uh, issues for a devops engineer so let's start with this now there is a kubernetes cluster and the pods have been uh, continuously in the crash loop back so what are the things that you have done to resolve this issue so you as a devops engineer will go to the kubernetes cluster first of all dashboard check the pod status anyways you are coming to know that pod is in crash loop back check for the container logs check for the pod log and you still see that there is an issue now it's the time to make sure that you check for the application logs also by going in, inside the uh, kubernetes pod now what will what you have to do is uh, the primary thing is that you have to restart the pod and uh, once the restart happens what will happen is the logs will be again generated if you see the crash loop back there is some issue with your cpu utilization memory utilization or the resources which you have given to the pod so make sure you manually increase in the lower environments first test it and then move it to the production systems uh, when these kind of issues are coming and also make sure you pre prepare a root cause analysis which is very very much important rca is the like the dna of the entire root cause what has been done who has been called on the calls whether there was a product team supply team or a dev team what are the things that are available so you need to make sure that everyone is there on the on call right uh, i mean on the bridge which you have open for the issue now uh, this is one issue the second production issue you can tell like the jenkins server got, got collapsed and we were uh, we were uh, doing the major production rollout so at the, this point of time we had the disaster uh, recovery pattern uh, so what we have done is we have uh, routed the entire traffic earlier it was on the round drop in base of the load balancer like 70% of traffic was coming to the us west uh, now what we have done is because this region was completely down due to the issue we have migrated the traffic to the 100% traffic to the dr region and now uh, because of this uh, we had to change a few of the configurations uh, on the sonar cube and few other things but all the things were taken care and the production rollout was done successfully later on uh, we have fixed those issues uh, with the help of teams now here you can also add like there was a particular automation script uh, which because we have changed the sonar cube the sonar cube started giving us the quality gate issues so we had to change the shell script now jo bhi aap bol rahe ho yaar usko ekdam 100% true fact batana hai matlab unko lagna chahiye ki yes this guy has uh, really worked on the things uh, so aapko aise batana chahiye theek hai right so uh, explain the entire process of ci cd so this is uh, the seventh, uh, sixth question which we will be looking at See guys, CI/CD is the main heart for a DevOps engineer. Many of you feel that yeah, CI/CD कुछ करना नहीं है क्या है? But CI/CD is one of the top-notch uh, game changer for every organization. Now in the CI/CD, you have to tell that starting from the code check-in or from the developer. Uh, to his branch we will have a web book we have the entire ci cd divided into the four stages dev qa stage and pipeline now what is happening is in this division of the tasks uh, each of the pipeline will have different kinds of stages for example for dev we have integrated with uh, uh, maven uh, as a build tool jfrog as the repository management docker as the container management then you are uh, ansible for deploying of the uh, code or provisioning uh, of the things and uh, then we have the uh, kubernetes for deploying our clusters along with that we have some security tools which are integrated like black dog 45 check marks uh, before the build to make sure that uh, these are uh, the production uh, code which is not having any vulnerabilities along with that for docker image uh, scanning we are using trivi scanner so our pipeline is completely secured at the same time it is also having most of the automations which are needed like uh, automatic version uh, generation or you can think like uh, the pom.xml getting auto updated in the github uh, repo the branching strategies and all those things and we are also having uh, here uh, one more pipeline uh, which is actually the production pipeline i would like to give a small glimpse over it if you allow me that's how you need to ask so once he says you say like this he will say like yeah go ahead and he will he will think of you with an interesting uh, thought ki yaar acha ye kuch bol raha hai now you have to tell like in the production pipeline we have we had two pipelines like master and child pipeline so in the master pipeline we had only the pr request getting created so what will happen is in the master pipeline the child branch right uh, which is given as the uh, as the pr right so what is per, uh, merge request is basically pull request you have the master pipeline the feature a branch will have to be merged with the master branch right so what will happen here when the pr branch is merging with the master branch before that you have to check whether this uh, pr branch or the feature branch is 
is free from all the vulnerabilities so that is very important so you need to check that and make sure that it is free from vulnerabilities then only it will be merging to this so in the first pipeline what we had is in the child pipeline uh, we used to give the inputs like build with parameters where we used to give the child pipeline name um, your parent pipeline names and few of the details and what will happen is uh, once the build got success or uh, once there is no security issues automatically the pr will be sent with all the details with the pr links and all to the approver email id and once the approver approves then the child jenkins job will be triggered now these are the things which you have to tell uh, to make sure that uh, you bring a smile on the face for the interview right interviewer by the way so uh, going on to the next question uh, explain some steps where you have mitigated the cost of your application so if you are an experienced devops engineer experienced sre engineer the cost is playing an important role so make sure that you tell some of the things like uh, if you are if you are from walmart or if you are from other company you should be having some scale point of time like for walmart we have the black friday sale or december christmas uh, and new year sales so at that point of time we scale the applications to the major extents where our uh, clients and the users are not facing any issues and once like march april period once the sale is over we used to downgrade those systems so make sure that what parameters you are selecting what type of instances you are giving what type of cpu memory you are selecting so all those things a particular document will be prepared by an sre team and they will send the documents to the manager for approval and once the manager approves it he will be uh, they will be doing the downsizing of the environment not only this if any uh, uh, any code or ebs volumes are there in the in the uh, in the uh, cloud then you have to continuously monitor and delete those unused things so this is also one of the cost optimization thing have you enabled any monitoring metrics in the project yes this is what the important question is you have worked on prometheus grafana we have integrated uh, all the prometheus uh, with the kubernetes cluster we have deployed as the pods and our metric agents are also there and pods which are uh, sending the data like your cpu memory uh, the thread dump heap dump and uh, also uh, some of the things like logs of the systems are entirely sent to the uh, to the various systems and that's how we get the data now here the splunk is also integrated so we will get the application logs to the splunk also so you can tell like uh, you are using some kind of these kind of things in your project explain the complete architecture of your project so this is the important thing so you need to make sure that whatever the project you are going to tell to the interviewer that is true to the fact either you can ask your friends if you are um, having zero experience make sure ki aap friends se pooch lena uska pura architecture diagram pad lena fir then you can put the same project in your resume just two three lines and the roles and responsibilities so everything you tell aisa lagna chahiye ki bhai ha ye sach bol raha hai ye banda theek hai to chhupna nahi kuch cheez se now what are the best security measures you have implemented in your project so you have to tell black duck 45 check marks and tv scanning obviously and along with that uh like the automations on the github where you mandated the uh, commit ids by the developers you mandated the jira ticket id whenever the developer is committing so what will happen in this uh, uh, in this flow is right Uh, uh like your security measures so you have to say like you have the uh, different kinds of policies on black duck 45 check marks and uh, based on the uh, policies of the security team we get uh, critical medium low and high vulnerabilities and we always target like critical medium uh, and uh, uh, high vulnerabilities and make sure that development teams are mitigating that and few of the issues like xxe like where you have the uh, cross site scripting or you have the xml entity attack and xxe ddos and those kind of things are usually given uh, as the suggestion by our team so i used to maintain all the documents and all and i used to give to the development team so that's how you need to tell and i hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video and if you like more content then subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends and that's all for today's video hope you have liked it so see you all in the next video this is singam signing off